Hi, I am starting a new etude in the Arte Mova collection, it's number 10, and it has uh, Martelli in the outer parts and uh, Slurs of Three, Mark Dolce in the um, middle part. It's all in quarter notes, so rhythm is always quite steady. Um, there is the consideration for the martelet, how to play it, and that's the reason actually why I want to do this etude a little bit more in depth, because I want this both to also for other things that I'm playing, particularly for the Haydn concerto that would be on the Baroque violin with the Baroque bow, but still uh, the idea for this initial fanfare dun, 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 to have like each bow stroke start quickly and then kind of taper off. So I'm not doing that uh, version of the detaché where one actually stops the bow, but I wanted to what Daniel calls coast, <laughs> so it will still be in movement. And uh, one consideration how to achieve this is also with the bow hold, although this is energetic and fast, the hand should be quite loose and um, like in balance and the training effect that will have hopefully is to be ready just in, on the right plane with the bow for each new stroke. So. Um, up. So down will be like more. So up I know <laughs> that it needs to come from the lower arm. I think maybe there are different schools of thinking but uh, to do it with the lower arm would be the quickest. And down, I'm not so sure. Maybe it has more like a little bit of help from the upper arm, um, from the yeah, this is this idea of. So anyway, I'll do that and then, okay, I'll talk about the middle section, the lyrical one with the slurs afterwards.
Okay, so I will kind of check with the key and harmony. So it starts in E minor and ends in E minor. And the middle section uh, could be like um, E major or even going into uh, into B major. Then there's also like going back like the parallel minor from E major. No, it's A major. And so I see some F sharp minor, so that would be the parallel of A major. But um, anyway, so however that is structured, I will check that and also then uh, maybe decide at the end how to modify this Martelly stroke to make it perhaps a little bit softer, um, more even uh, towards the end, if that is good for musical reasons. So I think that's, that's some things. And for the execution of the slurs, of course, string crossings need to be even, fingers need to be prepared. Uh, there's a little bit of um, also sliding, like not a big problem but I think when coming up again to the higher first finger I'm kind of overshooting um, so I can check those yeah and then I think it's really mostly about this uh, data sheet stroke kind of uh, not having the bow <laughs> jump on the string from too much momentum and have each of these up bows and down bows uh, exactly equal, at least at first as a practice goal, and then to have like flexibility to play around with it a little bit, but to have this very kind of robotic approach first. I hope that's <laughs> that doesn't destroy the music <laughs> that is in there, but anyway. Uh, yeah, at least I need some kind of plan where to get away from this robotic thing. Also, I will probably want to increase the tempo in the sense that I take away from this coasting phase so that there is like more sound. <laughs> 